The Pocket Wizard from LPA Designs is a remarkably versatile tool for photographers. With an advertised range of 1,600 feet, they offer a reliability that's unmatched. In this first of three-part series, we're going to cover shooting your Pocket Wizards with strobes. To start, turn one unit to transmit and the other to receive. Verify that they are on the same channel. Hold the two units apart at arm's length and press the test button on the transmit unit. The red LED on the receiver unit should light up. Plug the sync cord for your strobes into the Pocket Wizard flash port. Place the transmit unit into the hot shoe of your camera. The cable that connects your Pocket Wizard to your strobes will vary. Here are some common examples for Broncolor, Profoto, and a handheld flash unit that uses a PC sync port. The sync speed for Pocket Wizards varies based on the camera and lighting equipment that you're using. 1 250th of a second is a good starting place for most Pocket Wizard systems. If you're getting a black bar through the bottom or top of your image, it means that the shutter curtain is still in front of the sensor when the strobe is going off, giving you that big black dead space. Try changing to a slower shutter speed to accommodate for that. My name is Weber. I'm our digital tech here at PhotoCare. Uh, you can find us online at photocare.com. If you have any questions about anything that we covered today, you can reach me at my email address right down here. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. We love to hear from you and see what you're up to. And thanks for watching.